What's going on with y'all, man? Hope y'all being blessed and safe out here. I just want to drop a real quick message, man. I think this is very important. We're going to end the video by showing you the news clipping of the incident that happened in my local area. But this is the message I want to put out there. At least in the state of Tennessee, and actually all 49 states other than Texas. I think Texas is the only place where you have some kind of justification to use deadly force to protect personal property. Like your car, your vehicle, or something like that. You cannot shoot somebody just because they're breaking in your car. And you definitely cannot shoot somebody as they're running away. As you're about to hear in this um, news clipping, somebody's about to lose their freedom because they made that mistake. And I understand how it can be. I just got me a 2013 Lexus ES350 that y'all been seeing. And I love that car. And I'm working my ass off to make sure that CarMax get every single dollar of that $560 that they charging me per month for the next 50 something months. So if I come outside and I see somebody breaking in my shit, I'm going to be pissed. Beyond pissed. But you cannot shoot somebody over personal property and you definitely cannot shoot somebody as they're running away. You just can't do it. If you do that, you're going to catch some kind of charge. You do not have the same protections that the police have. So, with that being said, man, you got to know what you're going to do before that situation even happens. You don't want to let your emotions get the control of you, and you do something that's going to cost you your freedom. Now, some people may be saying, well, Chris, how do you feel about the 16-year-old losing his life? Because that's how old the person was that was breaking into the car, 16 years old. <clears throat> Well, this wasn't a 16-year-old who was walking through a neighborhood minding their own business and some random person decided that they was going to run up on them and ask them why they in this neighborhood and all that stupid shit and they shot him and killed them. That's not the situation. Also, this wasn't a 16-year-old who knocked on the wrong door and lost his life because somebody decided to shoot through the door at the young man. This isn't that situation. This is a 16-year-old who decided that he was going to go out here and break into cars. How do I feel about him losing his life? Fuck him. He shouldn't have been out there doing the shit in the first place. I know that sounds harsh. I know it do. But let's just keep it real, man. Correct me if I'm wrong. At the age of 16, isn't that still school age? Shouldn't the little motherfucker be ready to get ready to go to school or end school or doing what normal 16-year-olds do when they ain't got to go to school? You know, why the fuck is you out here breaking into people's cars for? You kind of brought that on yourself. But with that being said, we'll end the video by showing you the little news clipping. Just remember, you can't shoot somebody because they're breaking into your car. And you can't shoot somebody because they're running away. Don't lose your freedom over making the wrong decision. Let me go ahead and play the little news clipping and we'll end the video with that shooting that we've been following at an apartment complex over in Gallatin. We know a man now is facing charges after police say he shot a teenager who was attempting to break into cars in the area. Our Tony Sloan joins us live with how people at the apartments are coping with what happened this morning. Tony, one neighbor actually heard the shots and says she tried to save the teen's life. Yeah, that's right, Rebecca. But first, here's what we know about the man now charged in this case. Prosecutors charged Adrian Wilkerson with second-degree murder in that shooting after police and neighbors say he shot that 16-year-old as he was trying to run away from Wilkerson. Neighbors say they heard at least 10 or 11 shots as the boy ran with his back turned to the shooter. This happened in the parking lot of the residences at Gallatin Apartments. <coughs> One neighbor says she saw and heard everything and even trying to save the boy's life. I just saw him fall and I knew that something was wrong and he needed help. So my, I guess my instincts just kicked in and I took off running toward him. I could tell he was young when I first got to him. I didn't know he was that young. Just 16 years old there. The teen's identity has not been released yet, but of course we'll keep you updated when it's shared. I'll send it back to you. And Tony, obviously this is raising a whole lot of questions. So what are our local legal experts saying about this incident? Listen. 
Well, I'm glad you asked, Ben. A local attorney told us that according to state law, you can't use deadly force on property crimes, only if someone breaks into your home. And self-defense does not apply if someone is running away from you. They say the best thing to do in a situation like this is to try and get video of the situation and then call police. That's the, the best advice that they can give when it comes down to a situation like this, Ben. All right, Tony, thank you for the clarification. We're also following a... That's just something to think about, man. Don't lose your freedom because you just shot some hoodlum little motherfucker trying to break into your shit. Y'all be blessed, be safe, and I'm out.